in the budget filmmaking world, you can opt for a smaller mirrorless camera and then run out of money for lenses and accessories, or you can actually use your already expensive phone and mount a lens on it. Get a cheap smartphone gimbal and an anamorphic lens to juice it all. Welcome back, I'm Mauro and today we are making the full in-depth review of the Siri anamorphic lens for smartphones. If you want to understand more about anamorphic lenses, I made already a couple of videos and they are really useful. The links will be in the description. Before jumping in in the footage, let's go on a fast unboxing. In the small box you will get the soft storage case. Siri anamorphic lens with lens cap. Lens clip holder for your phone. Instruction manuals. Lens pouch. And Siri qualified badge. First, attach the lens to the lens clip holder. Align the lens to your phone camera perfectly. You have to do so if you want a perfect image without vignetting. We use the Moza Mini S without any counterbalance on the iPhone 11 and on the OnePlus 6. It's holding the weight perfectly. The lens structure is made out of three elements in two groups, with a video aspect ratio of 241. Aluminium body with retro style reflection coating. The lens weight is just 19 grams, so it's perfect for your smartphone gimbal. There is a basic Siri app that I actually didn't use, we read it film with the Filmic Pro and also with the Moment Pro app. We use the iPhone 11 with the Moment Pro app and Filmic Pro with the OnePlus 6. In both apps you can de-squeeze the footage selecting in the menu system, so we'll have a ready edit footage. If you want to understand how to de-squeeze the anamorphic footage, I made already a small tutorial for Premiere Pro. The link should pop up right now or you can find it in the link in the description. Let's go straight to the test footage. As you can understand, the first thing that you will be able to see is the anamorphic flaring that's really easy controllable. The direct light hit like sun and other bright objects will give you the most out of it. I would say there is not an excessive flaring in any case, you will get what you paid. With any smartphone lens you will always limit it with the depth of field, so don't expect any bokeh happening around and bokeh anamorphic balls behind your film subject. In night scenes we will be able to achieve good anamorphic light streaks, brighter, closer object will light streak more. And don't go overboard, night anamorphic filming is limited due to the small sensor of your smartphone. I would say that this lens is mostly designed for enthusiastic smartphone filmmakers that want to squeeze any single little bit out of their smartphone and get some really quality decent footage. Using an anamorphic lens with a wide-angle camera on your iPhone 11 or any other smartphone that has a wide angle will not be a good idea. It will be too wide and you will see the internal frame of the lens. I would recommend this lens if you want that anamorphic look for a budget and actually test your filmmaking capabilities. Don't expect amazing bokeh effect and exceptional flaring. This lens works just fine if you have in mind the specific intention that was designed for. 
With a bit of color grading and using a log and flat profile, you can squeeze even more your smartphone camera. In the link in the description there is my loot store and a lot of loots will work perfectly with the Filmic Pro log and flat profiles and also with the Moment Pro app. What do you think guys? Do you need actually an anamorphic lens after you saw my footage? Comment section down below, we can share our experience. Thumbs up if you like it, subscribe with the bell ring icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.